Good morning, friends. I am Pran. I am Pran from KIT. Today I am going to take the Kitchup's law. From this Kitchup's law, it is used to simplify the circuit diagram, and also it is used to simplify the circuit problems. There are two types of laws. The first one is Kitchup's voltage law, and second one is Kitchup's current law. First one is Kitchup's voltage law, that is called the carrier, and Kitchup's current law, that is called the KCL. The first one, the Kitchup's voltage law. In a closed circuit, some of the potential drop is equal to some of the potential rise. In a closed circuit, some of the potential drop is equal to some of the potential circuit. From the Ohm's law. Okay. So consider one circuit. Here the current is flowing through the all the resistance. Here the current is flowing through the all the resistance. So here consider the resistance R1, R2, and R3. The resistance R1 and R2 and R3. In some series circuit, the current is same, but the voltage is different. In series circuit, the current is same, but the voltage is different. So from this. The teacher showed it is I into R2 plus I into R2 plus I into R3 equal to the rising voltage V. Here the I, I into R1 is a teacher's dropping voltage. That is a dropping voltage. And V is a rising voltage. Therefore, I of R1 plus R2 plus R3 equal to the rising voltage V. The current is the current total current I equal to the V by R3. The R3 means the total resistance value. Next one, the teacher's current law. In teacher's current law means some of the that is the entering current equal to living current. Some of the entering current equal to living current from the node junction. So from this, the I1 plus I2 is the entering current. I1 plus I2 is the entering current. Minus I3 minus I4 equal to 0. Minus I3 minus I4 is the living current. Now, so therefore, it is created by the minus symbol. Therefore, the I1 plus I2 equal to I3 plus I4. That is entering current equal to living current from the node junction. That is called Kirchhoff's current law. Next, we want to see about the problem based on Kirchhoff's voltage law. By using Kirchhoff's voltage law, we can find the current I1 and I2. That is a loop current with there. From this, we can find the current I1 and then I2. So, first step to apply the loop current I1 and the loop current I2. Loop current I1 and then loop current I2. So, first consider the loop 1 and apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law. So, from this, the I1 current is flowing through the 2 ohm resistance and then again the 2 ohm resistance. Here, the 2 into I1, 2 into I1 plus, the 2 is found for the loop I1 and the I2. Here, I1 current is dropping, I2 current is rising. Therefore, the I1 and I2 is the opposite direction. Therefore, it is created by the minus symbol I1 minus I2. Therefore, the 2 of I1 minus I2 equal to the rising voltage 10 volt. The rising voltage 10 volt. Therefore, equal to 10. So, from this, we can simplify the equation. The 4 into I1 minus 2 into I2 equal to 0. That is equation number 1. Next, apply K value to loop 2. Apply K value to loop 2 here. The I2 current is flowing through the 4 ohm resistance and then again 4 ohm resistance. Another 4 ohm resistance. Therefore, 4 into I2 plus 4 into I2 equal to the 2 is come for the loop 2 and then loop 1. The 2 is come for loop 2 and then loop 1. In previous case, the 2 is come for I1 and then I2. So here the loop 2, the 2 is come for I2 and then I4. Therefore, uh, 2 of I2 minus I1. So 2 of I2 minus I1 equal to 0. Next, so from this, the minus 2 I1 plus 10 I2 equal to 0. Next step, to form a matrix. To form a matrix. This is a 2 cross 2 matrix. Because they have only 2 loops. Therefore, the first one, 1, 1, 4, 1, 2, the minus 2. Next, 2, 1, the minus 2. Next, 2, 2, the 10. Into I1, I2 equal to the voltage value 10 and loop 2 is 0. Okay. Next, we need to find the I1 and the 92. So, for that, we need to find the del value and the del 1 value. So, from this, the I1 equal to del 1 by del. I1 equal to del 1 by del. So, we need to find del value and then del 1 value. So, from this, we can calculate the current I1 value. Next, I2 equal to del 2 by del. I2 equal to del 2 by del. So, from this, we can calculate the current I2. Thank you.